Hello everybody and welcome back to SE Aviation. Today we're going to learn how to set up the FMC or MCDU of the Airbus A320 in the shortest time possible. Enjoy! So for this tutorial you will need two requirements. The first one is the fly-by-wire Airbus A320 for Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is a free mod that you can find in their website, absolutely for free. But the other thing that you will need is an active Navigraph account for Simbrief. That is also free, but the Navigraph subscription is not free. Now you can get the Simbrief account without the subscription, but the best benefits of Navigraph come with the subscription. So basically you don't need to pay anything for this tutorial, but it's very likely that if you have Navigraph, you will have paid for the subscription, if that makes sense. That said, let's start. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that the Fly-by-Wire A320 is connected to your Simbrief account, which is where you're going to generate your flight plan. You do that by, by going on to settings and then in third party options, I'm not going to click it because I would show to you my Simbrief username and I don't want to show it. But uh, after clicking on third party options, you will see the option to enter your Simbrief ID and that way the simulator can connect with your Simbrief flight plans. In case I don't remember well and it is not in 3D party options, then it must be in some of the first four or five options, but you will find it here in settings. Now, once that is done, you can go to the main menu of the electronic flight bag and click on import Simbrief data. That will import into your flight bag the latest flight plan that you have generated on Simbrief. In this case, I have already, already generated one and this is going to be a flight from Auckland to Sydney in Australia. So we're flying in the southern part of this world and we're flying the Airbus A320 from Air New Zealand and the, it's an A320neo. Now that said, once you have all that, you want to make sure that the airplane is loaded before you do your takeoff calculations, which are going to be part of the MCDU setup. Why? Because for some reason, unless the airplane is fully loaded, the system will not detect the, the future load. What I'm meaning by that is that it will do the takeoff calculations only with the passengers that are on board the aircraft, not with the expected number of passengers. That is why we want to first board. In this case, I'm going to do that instantly. Now we have all our 162 passengers on board, but um, it is more realistic to do it with the real boarding time. And we're also going to load the fuel instantly and now we're all fueled up and the payload is all in the airplane this information is also taken from the Simbrief flight plan that is why this is so cool and so efficient about the air fly by wire a320 now once that is done now we can go to the mcdu and i haven't touched it is it is just as it would appear in a cooler and dark position and so we want to select the desired system we're going to tap on fmgc and then we're going to clear the GPS primary loss messages and go to init. In init, we should this we should see this init request light up. And this basically means that the system is ready to receive a flight plan from Simbrief that the electronic flight bag has received. So we click on init request and it says up link, up link insert in progress. And so the system is loading automatically all the information for our flight plan. Uh, sorry, not all, but almost all. Now, once that is done, you want to go to IRS init and click on align on reference. So you can uh, um, speed up the IRS aligning process, confirm align. And after that is done, you're going to see that the information that was loaded into the flight plan is only the routing information. So we have to manually do the departures, arrivals, approaches and also the performance calculations. So we're gonna start with the uh, arrivals and departures. So we go to the flight plan page and then in the electronic flight back, we are gonna check our departure runway, which is two three left and our departure seat, which is the Austra one Papa standard instrument departure. So we go again to the uh, uh, MCDU and we tap 
on the dest on the departure airport in this case New Zealand Auckland or November Zulu Alpha Alpha left click on that left click on departure and we're gonna see the available runways uh, the available runway is uh, for today is two three left so we're clicking on that and the departure was the Osra one Papa departure so we click on that and then we need to see the transition so the transition will be very probably the next waypoint after the departure in this case Madep so Madep here is our transition we select that and then we insert it after that we need to check that there are no discontinuities in the flight plan after the departure there is one so we're gonna tap on clear and clear that discontinuity and now let's go with the arrivals so we now click on the destination airport in this case that is Sydney click that arrival and let's again check so we're landing on runway 07 and the arrival is the Marlin 5 so if runway 07 has an ILS we will go for it so let's select ILS runway 07 as the approach for today and then we select the arrival which was the Marlin 5 arrival or star which stands for standard terminal arrival uh yeah standard terminal arrival routing the s is for the plural and so we click on that and then we see no vias for the approach that means that there are no transitions for the approach so we simply click on insert and then again we check if there is any discontinuity after we selected the arrival there is one so we're going to clear that by tapping clr r and then clicking on the discontinuity after that is done our routing our lateral routing is set so we now go again to init but now we want to click on the next page with this arrow and we're gonna load the zero fuel weight on the block fuel we can do that manually but since you see those orange uh, squares that means that the airplane is ready to receive them from Simbrief so we simply left click on them and the airplane is gonna automatically load those in those numbers like this and then for block we click on fuel planning confirm and now we have all the information loaded automatically and the airplane will now calculate our trip time our reserves our alternate time final time and all those very handy calculations so after that we now click on performance to do our performance calculations and we select the appropriate takeoff configuration for the airplane in this case i'm taking off with a flap one why because our airplane is fairly light the air, the flight is not so long we're not very uh, loaded so a flap one takeoff would work very well in case it didn't we would select a flap two takeoff flap three takeoff is not permitted but this information in a real airline would not be calculated like i'm doing it like just estimating with what i think in real life we would have charts that our airline gives us uh, to calculate the takeoff flaps appropriately since we don't have airline charts we have to do that um sort of estimating and the flex takeoff temperature which basically derates our takeoff power would also be calculated with your airline charts so you can select a takeoff temperature that is higher than the actual temperature maybe 30 35 degrees that would be sort of a standard flex takeoff temperature uh, but if you don't want to use it, there's no problem, then we would have a TOGA takeoff, which means a takeoff with full thrust. Today we're going to have a TOGA takeoff because I don't want to enter a number here in the flex takeoff temperature that maybe will um, retard our thrust levers too much that we cannot take off in time. So I prefer to go for the shore option. And to do that, uh, we simply do not insert anything into flex stick of temperature. And then we click on the V1, VR and V2 gaps here so that the aeroplane gives us the takeoff speeds automatically. Anything that is in uh, those orange squares means that the aeroplane will calculate it and you don't have to insert a number manually. In this case, as you can see, we have blue text and that means that that is text that we have to enter manually so now let's calculate our takeoff speeds b1 will be 134 correction br will be 134 b1 will be oh also 134 and v2 is 139 now once that is done our mcdu is complete that is basically everything you need for your takeoff now we can add some extra information like getting um 
ready the ATC communications panel so that we can communicate via ACARS to the control tower. We can also get the meter from the MCDU and do a lot more of programming on it. But this is a very essential for having a takeoff with the MCDU set up. And that is all guys. That is all the time that you need to set up the MCDU. Now of course in a real airliner you don't want to set it up as fast as this because you want to check every information that you enter is I mean you want to double check it that it is correct. Also in a real airliner you usually have to put some information only while the other pilot is on board. You cannot do it by yourself. And also sometimes you simply can't put all that information all at once, but you first load the routing, then wait for your load sheet, and then you load the performance information and blah, 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 blah. But I just wanted to show you the most efficient way. In case you don't have the fly-by-wire or you don't like it or you don't have SimBrief or you don't like it as well, I'm gonna be uploading other tutorials on how to do it without those mods and also I will be uh, uploading uh, other tutorials on how to do it the realistic way. So entering things manually and double checking them and then also double checking them with the navigation display and all that. But this is all for now, this is how you can set up your FMC in a very efficient way. And, well, bye bye. I'm gonna take this airplane to the skies and fly to Sydney. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!